Hey everybody, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, and I believe in this season, God is releasing supernatural acceleration and abundance. I love this passage here, Amos 9, verse 13. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of the grapes, him who sows the seed. The mountains shall drip sweet wine, and the hills shall flow with it. Amen. I love this passage because the word of God says the plowman will overtake the reaper. Now that is a switcheroo or that is a switching of orders. Of course, God is a God of order. How can the plowman overtake the reaper? You see, because in terms of agriculture, the plowman comes first, breaks open the hard fallow ground and makes things smooth, makes the dirt rich the soil ready to receive the seed, then you water, then it grows, etc., etc. And then the reaper comes at the end to begin to cut the sheaves and to reap and harvest the agriculture abundance. But the Bible here says the plowman will overtake the reaper, which means as soon as you sow, you're going to get your blessing. As soon as you say yes, Doors are going to begin to open. Even for my life, I'm getting ready to go to South Africa. And even as I'm going to South Africa, my goodness, in the last few days, boom, 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 divine appointments, connections. Some of the largest, most influential pastors, leaders in the nation of South Africa just opened up like that. Why am I saying this? Because the plowman will overtake the reaper. We are in a season of suddenlies and acceleration where things are going to take place and the divine switch or the divine switcheroo is going to take place. It's going to shock you. The plowman will overtake the reaper. Right before you say yes, God will say I do. Right before you sow the seed, it's going to pop out harvest and blessings. Are you ready for that? Listen, I'm talking to you about the order of God's acceleration. So number one, God is releasing acceleration. You will overtake the plowman, the reaper, excuse me, which means that the student will become smarter than the teacher, the master, which means that the child will grow up stronger and be more mature, influential than the parent, which means that you are going to go to the next level beyond and above quicker and faster than ever before. So acceleration. Number two, this stands for a ripeness and a readiness. Your atmosphere must be ripe and ready. Are you ready for a harvest? The Bible says be ready in and out of season. The word of God says that in and out of season, you must be ready to preach the gospel. Be ready, be ready at all times. And I believe right now God is saying, is your soil ripe and ready? If you are ripe in prayer and ready in the spirit, then you will overtake God is saying, I want you to run like Elijah did. Get ready to tuck in the cloaks of your garment and to outrun the horses and chariots. Are you ripe and ready? Number three, the word of God here says harvest. God is a God of harvest and the harvest is going to come suddenly. The harvest is going to come quickly. The plowman will overtake the reaper. You're going to Get blessings so fast, so quickly, that's going to make people hate you, dislike you, be jealous of you, because that is the favor of God that's on your life. Number four, the Bible here says that the sweet wine will flow, the mountains will drip with sweet wine, and its hills shall flow with it. My goodness, are you ready for overflow? The hills will drip, and there will be overflow of sweet wine. So God is releasing the overflow of the Holy Ghost. There's going to be extra. There's going to be abundance. There's going to be excess. Remember, when the prophet Elijah talked to the widow, he said, go and collect as many vases as you can, and the oil will multiply. And guess what? There was overflow. There was more than enough for them to pay off their debts. And there was enough for them to live on for the years to come. Are you ready for the hills, the mountains to drip, to flow, the wine and the oil of God? 
And number five, out of this passage, we can find and get out of this passage, Amos 9.13, that you're going to be shocked. Are you ready to be blown away? This is the doing of the Lord. Can a nation be born again in a day? Doesn't make sense. But it happened with Israel. Can a nation be born again in a day? The plowman will overtake the reaper. You felt like you were behind, but God's bringing you to the front. The last is the first. The first is the last. You will be above, not below. You will be the head, not the tail. I believe in this season, God is saying, be an expectation. Be ripe and ready. Be ready at all times. Because there's going to be a new oil, a new flow that's going to come out of you. It's going to shock you. But all of those that are plowing stands for the ox, the apostolic, the pioneer, breaking up hard ground. Are you in a rock and a hard place right now? Are you in a hard season right now? You're in a barren land, a desert, a wilderness. You're in a difficult place, season in your life where you have to plow and plow and plow. Those people, God is saying, you will overtake the reaper. You're going to get your blessings. You're going to get your return. You're going to gain your ROI. You're going to see your financial investment reap a harvest even before the reaper does. God is with you. Don't give up. Don't give in. For I declare that the plowman will overtake the reaper. The hand of God is on you. Get ready for the days of supernatural acceleration. God bless you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. And I speak mighty blessings and abundance on all that you do. In Jesus' name.